Uh, welcome back to grade 6. Our lesson today uh, is a checkup from your pupil's uh, workbook page 90 and 91. Let's start our lesson and be ready. Uh, now open your uh, workbook page 90. Our lesson uh, title is checkup. Activity number one, complete the sentences with the words in the box. Here we have a box and there are many words. Okay, if you remember, I told you before that reflexive pronouns words refer back to a person or thing. So here we have reflexive pronouns. Let's start to read them. The first one is myself. Then yourself, himself, herself, itself, ourselves, yourselves, and themselves. هاي الضمائر طبعا بتنوب أو تستخدم في حالة إذا كان عندي subject or object the same. Okay. Sentence number one. Jane made no mistakes in her exam. She was very pleased with herself. Here we use herself because of the subject is she. طبعا الضمير الإنعكاسي بيكون للشي herself. Sentence number two. Here's some money, children. Go and buy yourselves some sweet. So عند الضمير الإنعكاسي yourselves لأنها بتنوب عن children اللي هي إيش plural جمع. Be sentence number three. Be careful with that knife, Sam. Don't cut yourself. لما نستخدم yourself هون لأنها بتحكي مع عن Sam, boy, طبعاً هو أو singular مفرد. Number four, the boys fell off their bikes and hurt themselves. Themselves, بتنوب عن boys. So here we use themselves, لأنه كان عندي subject boys. Okay, sentence number five. The man looked at himself, himself in the mirror. Himself. بتعود على المان. Sentence number six. We enjoyed ourselves at the party. So هون عندي subject we. ضمير إنعكاسي أو possessive pronoun ourselves. Sentence number seven. When I failed my exam, I was very angry with myself. With myself. So عندي هون الضمير الإنعكاسي أو reflexive pronoun لل I myself. The last sentence, the cat is washing itself in the sunshine. Cat, لأنه هي عندي غير عاقل نستخدم لها ال suitable reflexive pronoun لإلها هي ال itself. Complete the sentences. Use words from the box in exercise one. هون في عندي بعض sentences. بأكتيفيتي نمبر 2 رح نستخدم فيها some words from exercise 1 يعني رح نستخدم فيها بعض ضمائر الانعكاسية اللي مذكورة عندي بالسؤال الأول اللي قبل شوي حكينا عنهم sentence number 1 those scissors are sharp don't hurt yourself عندي المقصات حادة don't hurt yourself لا تجرح نفسك Number two, grandma and grandpa are going on holiday. I hope they enjoy themselves. أتمنى لو يمتعون أنفسهم. Sentence number three, why is Anne looking at herself in the mirror? The last sentence, when the boys didn't win their match, they were angry with themselves. هون استخدمنا themselves لأنه عندي the boys وبجملة رقم ثلاثة لأنه عندي أنا استخدمنا herself اللي هي الضمير الانعكاس المناسب لإلها Big question number three complete the sentences with the verbs in the brackets use the past continuous and the past simple مثل ما شرحنا يا سادس بقاعدة the grammar in conversation when we use past simple and past continuous في هير بكون في عندي two actions or two verbs. The first one is the long action اللي هو الفعل الطويل اللي بنستخدم في was or were plus ing اللي هو past continuous. الفعل الثاني بكون مع when 
لما تيجي الون مع الفعل الثاني بنستخدم معها simple past so let's read these sentences and answer them sentence number one I wa uh, في عندي الأفعال sleep and ring sleep and ring I was sleeping when I when the telephone rang so استخدمنا باللونج اكشن اللي هو الزمن الطويل uh, sleeping استخدمنا الواز لأنه في عندي السبجكت I و I بتاخد عنا was بالشق الثاني من الجملة اللي هي بعد وين بنستخدم عنا الفيرب past simple so الفعل ring بالزمن الماضي بتحول لرانج number two Eddie was walking to school when it began to rain when it began to rain uh, Eddie was ليش حطينا was لأنه Eddie singular والفيرب عندي walking then بالشق الثاني من الجملة عندي when نستخدم معها simple past من الفعل begin is began number three the boys were opening the door when, the, when they hear the noise the boys نستخدم معها where والفعل past continuous وبعد ال when here استخدمنا ال verb بالزمن الماضي اللي هي heard sentence number four we were crossing the old bridge when it broke بالشق الأول من الجملة اللي هو long action كان عندي were crossing ال verb to من break هي broke Sentence number five: The man was climbing the mountain when he fell. When he fell, was climbing. لأنه عندي المان singular استخدمنا مع هواز. The verb to من الفعل fall اللي هي fell. The last sentence: Miss Day was shopping when a thief stole her bag. عندي shop. استخدمتنا was shopping لأنه Miss Day is a singular then بالشق الثاني من الجملة عندي when بنستخدم معها الverb to من steal هي stall now open your book page 91 نفتح كتابنا على صفحة 91 read uh, look and read okay look at these pictures here we have six Uh, pictures هي عبارة عن story قصة قصيرة uh, Look at these pictures uh, Here we have boys What are they doing? These boys are playing football Or they are in a football match هم في مباراة كرة قدم Okay, then uh, picture number one They are in a football match Look at picture number two One of them or the boy that uh, Number three اللي هو رقمه ثلاثة fell down. Okay, the th uh, third picture. The referee asked him, Did you hurt yourself? سأله الحكم هل جرحت نفسك؟ شو جاوبه؟ He answered, No, I'm okay. Look at picture number four. Look at him. He was angry. Why he was angry? Do you, why do you think he was angry? Because he didn't score. He, look at... His face. He was very angry, and he um, said that I didn't score, so he was angry. Then look at the uh, referee. The حكم شو حكى عليه? You are the best player in the team. The referee told him that he was the best player. هو أفضل لاعب في الفريق. Look at the last picture here. In this picture, we we can see him. happy and pleased كان سعيد من الرفري اوكي في عندي هون questions think about these questions بدنا نفكر بهاي الاسئله ونحلهم على شكل فقره اسفل الاسئله يعني ما بنحلهم جنب السؤال لا بنكتبهم على شكل paragraph question number 1 was Tommy playing a basketball match or a football match Question number two: What was he doing when he fell over? Question number three: Did he hurt himself? Were his clothes very clean or very dirty? هل جرح نفسه أو أذى نفسه؟ هل كانت ملابسه متسخة أم نظيفة? And question number two: What was he doing when he fell down? ماذا فعل عندما سقط? 
Question number four was Tommy pleased with himself or angry with himself and why? هل هو كان مبسوط وفخور من نفسه أم أم هو غضبان من نفسه؟ Question number five What did he, the referee tell Tommy after the match? شو أخبره الحكم؟ The last question was Tommy very angry with himself or very or very pleased with himself. بالنهاية شو كان شعوره؟ هل هو angry or pleased? Okay, the answers here in this paragraph. إجابة هاي الأسئلة حتكون معنا هلا بال paragraph أو or بال story اللي ما اللي رح نكتبها على الأسطر. Write the story. Okay, I will read the story, and you have to write it on your book. رح نكتبها على كتابنا. Tommy was playing in a football match. He was running when he fell over. He didn't hurt himself, but his clothes were very dirty. Tommy was angry with himself because he didn't score. After the match, the referee told Tommy that he was the best player in the team. Tommy was very pleased with himself. نحاول نكتب إجابات الأسئلة على شكل فقرة على كتابنا. That's for today. Thanks for watching this video. يعطيكم ألف عافية.